Hi everyone, so first video review for this week is for our blog tour um, which is uh, for When Sparks Fly by Kristen Zimmer um, If you want to check out my review, I have just posted that so if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below and if you're on Facebook or on my blog then there's a link within the post and this is the video review So, When Sparks Fly uh, by Kristen Zimmer um, As I say, this book is joining us for blog tour so it's a new release and I'm really excited to have been able to share it with you this week with all the reading updates um, but this was so 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 cute um britain's finally found the home and when i say britain i don't mean britain like the country i mean britain like the name um <laughs> has finally found um the home she's been dreaming of after years and years in the system um and then she sort of develops feelings for her foster family's daughter uh, avery um she really can't believe that fate has dealt her this hand it's just typical isn't it you know she gets this dream family that she's always wanted and then she finds this dream girl as well but it's not like as simple and straightforward as it should be and um, so she's kind of conflicted by her feelings for Avery and um, she tries to navigate this new life and this new home um, unaware that Avery has the sort of secrets of her own um, and feelings of her own so um, they sort of grow closer and the truth comes out which is lovely um, and then this friendship sort of blossoms into to something more but it's it's more a case of Britain trying to get over her guilt about the whole situation so that they can actually have that um, so I absolutely love this like I say it was it was quite um it had a very sort of young adult feel but I actually found it was quite relatable like as an adult um, as well so I love it it's a really cute story um, it was so cute so sweet um, and it had lots of things to um, keep the characters and the reader like on their toes like continuously um, I contemplated a lot of the dilemmas both Britain and Avery faced it was very easy to be like in their head and in their space um, and just be in that moment alongside them um, so I completely understood Britain's hesitations and, and wariness um, of her feelings for Avery it was a very complicated situation um, and she was she had a lot to fear because she had a lot of loss um, if it all went wrong so she was going to lose everything she'd ever dreamed of um, and yet I could understand Avery's guilt about uh, sort of past events that kept coming up and like why she was behaving the way she was behaving and um, she was kind of haunted by those and it was a way it was a lot more than I could have imagined like when the story started coming together and everything started coming out so um, like I said there was a lot of heartache surrounding the story and um, a lot of it came from the past for both Britain and for Avery so that had a big impact on there now um, but as these past events became knowledgeable to each of them it sort of helped them um, it helped them to not only form that initial bond as friends um, but then further as to like opening up and being honest with each other which was really really sweet um so for Britain I think learning those experiences and having Avery op open up to her um was what was really clear in starting to make her feel like she was at home rather than feeling like she'd just found another house to live in um and with a family you know and everything that she'd ever wanted and then Avery just it really surprised me but Avery just accepted her I didn't think she was going to when we first met Avery I was really hesitant of like whether she was going to be like this really mean girl and like not be fair to Britain but actually she really surprised me because um, she was not what I expected at all in a character whatsoever um, and I very much judged Avery and thought I was going to spend the whole story taking Britain's side and actually I spent a lot of it taking Avery's side as well um, so because you, you've got this affin like this affinity with Britain though you thought people are just going to make her life hard and so you were judging everyone straight away that she was going to be the one that was you know going to have a harsh time but actually Avery had a pretty harsh time as well um and so it really surprised me and I loved her the second like she had this connection um with Britain and it was established in the story so together um Britain and Avery they were really sweet total opposites actually um but they just worked so well they were definitely like the cliche of opposites attract but they in a nice way they really worked um Avery was really good for Britain because despite all she was carrying on her own shoulders she was that that strong and confident and she was encouraging Britain to to get past her fears and to embrace like her new life um but equally Britain was good for Avery because she she provided her with the chance to be listened to and to work through her problems and to be open and honest um and sort of get over that fear of being judged at home by her family so they both helped each other and I loved that relationship um, 
from the start and then when it further developed as well it was really really good and really engaging so this was just a really lovely young adult type of story like I say and um, every second I sort of find myself smiling at the many moments they shared it was really sweet they did have some lovely lovely little moments and it was magical in so many ways it it, um, it proved that unexpected love and good things do happen um, when you least expect them and if you just take a chance to believe they will then they will you know they won't pass you by that type of thing um, but this was uh, my first story by Kristen and I really really enjoyed it um, so I can't wait to see what she brings in the future including hopefully um, a lot more from Britain and Avery because I think their adventure has literally only just begun and it would be great to see them in the future and how they're getting on um, so it was really really good I really really enjoyed it and I hope you will too I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of When Sparks Fly by Kristen Zimmer which I hope you will if you've read When Sparks Fly I would love to hear your thoughts so please comment below please get involved please let me know how you feel about the story um, and if you haven't read it yet but you're planning to read it or you know, you're really really intrigued and you're thinking I want to read that or it's on you to be read list then again it'd be great to hear from you so please comment below please let us know um, that you're interested in reading because it's always great to hear what you are reading um, and if you do read it I really really hope you enjoy it bye